It is written in the last days by Elias Damshakon. Let's take a look at what the scripture says will happen latter times. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving it to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Speaking lies in hypocrisy, having a conscience seared with hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from meat which God has created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. This shows us that in the last days people will give it to seducing spirit which will lead to the action of masturbation, pornography and fornication. And the Bible said that they will speak lies in hypocrisy in the sense that they know the truth but they cannot see the truth. Why? Because their conscience is seared. They will be forbidden to marry because they are committing fornication so that they will not be banned by the law that said that's one man and one woman and they abstain from meat which God has created to be received with thanksgiving for every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving meat should not be refused anything that God has created should not be refused if it be received with thanksgiving for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. If that thing you want to take, that meat you want to take, or whatsoever it is, it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer, you can take it. All this that the scripture has mentioned must happen before Jesus Christ returns. The only way you can be saved from the wrath of God is to deny all ungodliness and worthy loss and surrender your life to Jesus. The reason why you must surrender your life to Jesus is this. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comment unto the Father but by me. Only Jesus can save you from the wrath of God and can take you to the presence of God. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangels, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. In this manner will Christ return. He is coming to take the saints to the bosom of the Father in heaven. I tell you this day, if you miss heaven, you will cry. God doesn't want any to perish, but he wants all to come to repentance. That's why he sent his son into this world to save you and I. If you want to repent of your sin, say this together with me. Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I believe in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit my life to you and I forsake all my wicked ways. Now help me to be obedient to your will. Help me to be committed to your will. Amen. I pray for you in the name that is above every other name. In the name of Jesus, the presence of God will be with you. His hand will not depart from you. In the name of Jesus. Amen.